it, what do you think? Are you a guy who plans your – are you like, man, in three years, in five years, like at the end of my life, I'm going to make sure that. Okay. So you've asked it in like two different ways. Three ways. Me. Three years, yeah. five years, and at the end of my life. Three ways. Class, keep it in Cincinnati, baby. You want a fourth one? <laughs> yes, please. Add beans when to When you're questions. in the coffin, what do you want us to think about you, Mark? <laughs> I just want you to think that I was fun and tried to be inspiring and a, like I wanted help. I wanted to make a positive impact. That was it. Be like, God, that son of a bitch was poor. Look at that shit ass. Right, like, exactly. Is that okay? I'm okay with that. Doesn't sound like you're okay. Can, I feel like it, I just I'm more like, huh? It would be something weird to say at somebody's funeral. Like, God, that guy like, sucked. Oh, dude, fuck him. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, he didn't have enough to eat that damn white castles. He sure could shoot the thing. You know why they didn't put him on? It's because he couldn't even freaking buy one. So like, we'll throw the carton in there, but he definitely can't afford a white castle, a three way, some graders. Like, you know, he was kind of a nice guy, but God, he yeah, was poor. Just dump the onion petals in the coffin. Let's get out of here, okay? They're doing three for five at. Someone <laughs> in the poor days. Oh so, my gosh! No. So, do you plan it out? Uh, I have this theory that a plan is just a list of things that's not going to happen. But I also don't entirely agree with my own methodology. There, I like kind of vague goals, like not not like vague and like it's not so abstract but like i don't want to be like by the end of 2023 i'm gonna have a private jet and this and that i think that's like a little too far but i also recognize how that can be helpful for people to like kind of plot goals but i it, funny enough i think about this quote <laughs> they have you know like the the restrooms at work they've got like old jungle news clippings he has this great quote in there about how He's like, make life your game and always try to have fun with it and have some goals, but make those goals like insane and so lofty that you kind of can't achieve them. Achieve them. Then you can kind of take these like little stops along the way and be like, oh, that was pretty cool. Knock that one out. And I think I get why he does that. It's like it gives you a kind of a perpetual sense of achievement. And I think it staves off some of that negativity of like, is this ever going to happen? I'm too busy to f even think about dying right now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and it kind of in a good way. I'm like, oh, this is great. I haven't felt this great in a very long time. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, I, I again, I, I vague plans. I'm usually just like, I'd like to go here before I die. Here's like, I, that's a lot of my stuff. I'm just like, oh, it's going to be nice to do cherry blossoms in Japan before I die. Like, right? It's like all kind of just. But why? Why do I want to do that one in particular? Or just why do I plan it all? Yeah. Like, why do we want to do these things before we die? I think I just want, you know what? I think I just really like my eyes, as dumb as that sounds. I'm like, I just want to see some stuff, you know? I, I think that's, I, for me, life has been about experiential things where I'm like, somebody asked me this the other day. They were like, you're so excited. Why? And I'm talking about that through my Guillaume Beret that I had as a kid. And I'm like, well, when you get like really close to death in any form, Especially, I was like three years old, so I imagine none of it made any sense to me. But it, like, I think again, it kind of like broke me in a way where I'm like, I'm very excited to be here. So when I see stuff where I'm like, oh, there's a restaurant in Tokyo where they dress up like robots and they play weird beeps and boops, I'm like, no, I'd never get to see that here. I'm going there, or what, you know, whatever the, whatever the thing is. So I, I know for me, it's always been like I want to experience as many cool things as possible before I die. At least things that are cool to me, right? Now that's why I go to every concert I can. That's why I go to every comedy show I can. I'm like, yeah, I'll try the appetizer. Let's go. You know. So is it, is it FOMO? I'm not. I don't even think I'm worried about missing out because, like, I'm also equally content sometimes just sleeping it out on the couch, right? And be like, oh no, it's fine. I'll watch YouTube tonight. But at the same time, you know, it's kind of my yes mentality where it's like doing shit is a really quick way to have opportunity, right? And you know. If I show up, even if it's like silly stuff, it's like, oh, there's a, hey, there's like a production meetup tonight. Three people might go, but I might meet somebody that I'm going to make my next short film with, right? Or it's someone that might want to cast me in something or who knows what it is, whatever it is that pertains to you. So I'm always like, you know what? If I have the energy and the time, I'll try everything twice, you know? The first time for speed, <laughs> the second time for measure, I guess. And then the third time is usually just like, oh, I guess I do like this thing, yeah. right? You know? Yeah.